Jinja City is one of the leading business hubs in Uganda. It is connected to the regional markets by road, rail and water. It is for this reason that the Central Corridor entities are engaging with the business community in Jinja, mainly bulk exporters and importers. The objective of the sensitization meetings like this one is to enlighten them on the key developments on the route and the advantages with an intention of encouraging them to utilize the route. The, the generation which is there is a generation that doesn't have the, the history of what used to happen. So they think that everything was very bad about Dar es Salaam, but that was not the case. I worked in, both in Mombasa and I worked in Dar es Salaam. Things used to move. The message is let's revive their promises both sides, you know, for, for, more so from the president of Tanzania when she was in Kampara. We met her, she made promises and let us take, take that advantage and have a second route for both our imports and our exports. William Okello, a board member of Uganda Shippers Council, says improving collaboration amongst port users and stakeholders from both public and private sector will improve business and iron out challenges. So if we have all the three vessels operationalized, then we know as Ginger will actually be at a big advantage. And that's why as Ginger we want to emphasize that the road network, the road transportation is substituted by the water transportation, Dar es Salaam to Mwanza, Mwanza directly to Jinja. According to Tanzania Ports Authority, the Central Corridor's multimodal route is efficient, has competitive cargo tariff rates, and lowers the cost of doing business. It's no longer about the proximity. Using the multimodal way reduced the road distance that it was a major uh, barrier between of using Dar es Salaam port because everybody will keep thinking that in order for you to use Dar es Salaam port you, use, you must use the road. So now we're using the multimodal system through the central corridor and we're inviting the Ugandan community, the business community. During the meeting concerns were raised on the rundown state of Jinja Pyre. The Pyre is a key water transport infrastructure on Lake Victoria where vessels dock to flood and load cargo. Because area of operation which collect a lot of money from people, the road where I passed, it was shameful. So I'm requesting to work on road. We want to see the talk when they are really putting in action. Because we always go to the pier, but you can't find a place of convenience. And you can't even find an office of Uganda Real Estate Corporation at the pier. Constructed on the banks of Lake Victoria in 1912 by the British colonial government, Ginger Pyre was meant to ease freight and passenger rail services within the ESC member states of Kenya, Tanzania and Uganda. Dennis Igoa for UBC News in Ginger.